Hello everybody, welcome to the week 4 match of Super League Group B between Kfog and Olivier Dulac. Olivier has won the toss and chosen to kick. Here's the table, you can see Olivier's 1-2 drawn 1, lost none, undefeated. Kfog's had a pretty poor start and is 1-1 one, one, lost 2, so you know you can if he wins this it'll be really close between everybody. If Olivier can win then he'll be a, you know a solid favorite to qualify out of group B. And they've both taken very, very similar teams indeed. Both Skaven and six of the seven skills. All right. Oh, no, seven of the eight, right? There's eight skills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skills, because they've both taken the additional skill package. And seven of the eight are identical. But Kfog has got two guards, whereas Olivier has a guard and a mighty blow. So he doesn't have to blitz with a rat ogre every turn. You can attrition blitz with mighty blow, whereas Kfog has gone for two guard because guard's really good. Um, and they've both got the exact same thing three re rolls, Apple, and 13 players. Wow. Olivier is playing his leader re roll on defense. Often you'll see people, particularly um, Sol, would bench a gutter. And a and the thrower in defense. I quite like that, honestly. But interestingly, Olivier is fielding a fully powered team, and it looks like Kfog is also fielding the fully powered team on offense. And there we go. I mean, Kfog always would, I guess. But that is interesting on the, on the defense. Yeah, often like bench the sidestepper because he's the one who scores the one turn. And the thrower because he can pick it up and pass, and he's got the reroll, so you you guaranteed a reroll for it, which is less of a less of a thing, but it can be a thing, can't it? Because you know you could get like a vicious reft off right, and then you don't have him, or he could have just got blitzed on turn one or whatever. Touchback, zombie carrier. Oh my god. Okay, no, he's, he has successfully given it to a thrower. It would be funny if he'd like just given it the rat ogre or something. Kfog has had some issues with the client. This is a very, very uh, tragic, just forward blocks, right? Very amateurish from Kfog. That's not like him to just put push forward. Maybe he valued. More keeping the ball safe than getting those, but I would have, I would have definitely valued the the uh, diagonal blocks for sure. Very interesting that he didn't do the diagonal blocks. Like you really want to smash armor seven, don't you? So really weird decision not to diagonal block there. Not activating the roger. <laughs> and exposing the wrestle gutter. Will Olivier just pick off the uh, lineman here with a rogue? The Lord problem is with the rogue, you can just no, cast one of your guys every turn. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. If you see a lovely field with a family having a picnic, and there's a nice pond in it, you fill in the pond with concrete, you plow the family into the field, you blow up the tree, and use the leaves to make a dress for your wife who's also your brother. <laughs> Absolute classic. Thank you very much, Goliath. Staying fantastic for 48 months, 4 whole years, 12 whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. What a legend. Well, there you go, the mighty blow coming in useful there for Olivier. Yeah, I don't know if it was the difference or not. But, um. Yes, it was. Nine. No, yeah, I can't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Ah, thank you very much, Goliath. A cheeky tier one sub to Stradi Kid. The 201st. <laughs> thank you so much. Goliath, 201 gift subs, unbelievable, thank you so much. What a legend. Pure legend. Four. 
Funny isn't it, Goliath and Frosty resubbing today, two legends of the JFW. Might do some JFW things soon. <laughs> Kaz your own player? Ah, diced. Boo. Oh, Blitz is the sidestep though. <laughs> oh no, he's got Juggernaut. Lame. I oh, doesn't use it. <laughs> it stuns himself. <laughs> oh, flipping rats. <laughs> it's gonna three dice with mighty. So this is the thing in it. This is this is the Olivier. Mirror tech, isn't it? This mighty blow guy. This is very good for the mirror. Which is something to think about for a Euroball as well. Uh, Skaven were the most picked race in Euroball. You know, very good package. Very good two-point package. To be fair, they haven't done so well in Super League. But they haven't had the two-point package. Because I thought it was a bit unfair to allow people to have a two-point package, right? Because some people might not, might not want a package. For some races that, you know, the, the one-point package wasn't great. And even the two-point package wasn't great. For example, for Lizardmen, them getting an extra skill, but not having six block is rubbish, right? So Lizardmen really just wanted zero, zero packages. Um, whereas Skaven really wanted a two-point skill package. But I thought a two-point skill package versus a zero-point skill package is a bit unfair, isn't it? And you wouldn't necessarily be able to guarantee a two-point skill package. Whereas you basically could guarantee a one if you wanted it. So I didn't really want to have two-point packages. But with it coming up to Euroball, Olivier was like, I want to practice with my Euroball team. Let's make this one two-point package. And I was like, yeah, okay. Because, you know, it's a bit more genuine, isn't it? At the end of the day, people did have... If, they want, if people wanted two-point packages, they got them. So I thought maybe, maybe they should have had them. In from the start so this is like maybe a little less fair but a little more realistic if you like to have the scaven with the two point packages and uh so the two winners of euro ball were france for the team and mankis for the individual so mankis with dark elves and you know an eight man team for france which is the handoff to get away based Ball carrier and this is a bit of a fucking potato, isn't it? Jesus, I'm just sidelining with GFI to get there. And if this dodge feels it's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, it was France first. Um, USA second and Denmark third. So, funnily enough, as far as Super League goes, it was Olivier Dulac, Sol, and Seabros. And uh, Strider did very well in the individuals. K Fog did pretty well in the individuals. And Mankes, who did the best individually, will be in Super League next season. So, there you go. Yeah, France, France were absolutely the favourites, yeah. Ireland were the fan favourites. And beat England, which was glorious. But, um... Definitely the favourites to win were France, yeah. Yeah. By quite a way, they were undisputed favourites. Glorious. No, I won't give in. It was not possible I'm to play victorious. No, no. And I will defend. I will defend. Whoa. It, definitely, it looks like we're definitely going to rogue a blitz, especially with that position. Gets the plim plum push. Oh, he fails the GFI! <laughs> Do you re-roll it now? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Because 
you want to you know you want to be able to score the one turn, but then if you fall over here, maybe. Uh, Oh wow, so there you go, he gets the 4 plus loner, he gets the 2 plus rush, and now he does have a tail on the ball, and a surf gutter, like, it was a really good payoff for getting him there, wasn't it? That was a tough choice, a very tough choice, whether to put in the reroll there, it did take him a while. Whoa, Goliath, giving us up the dimmy, whoa, whoa. I mean, it's the right choice when he when it succeeds, that's for sure. But um, what were the chances of it working? Like forty-two percent. Poor. That was uh, that was pretty rowdy. But yeah, I mean, it probably was correct. It's really nice having the tail on him, isn't it? And it's potentially really nice surfing a gutter. He's going to have to uphill here, right? He's going to have to uphill to make the dodge easier. Or oh, if he'd powered him, he could have jumped out the back. Oh, that was really unlucky, wasn't it? From k here, if he'd powered it, it wasn't really unlucky. But if he'd powered him, he would have he would have had the jump and then the dodge the gate dodge. So yeah, he gets the uphill. Mm. It wasn't higher than forty two percent. Because it's fifty percent for the uh for the loner to work, and then if it does work, he's one in six to fail the GFI, right? A rush. So it's uh, it was forty two percent when he puts in the reroll. I mean, there is a there is a minimal chance of uh, or one in two hundred sixteen chance of uh, of triple sculling. But anything but the triple skull gets in the serve. So I discounted that. <laughs> And now on defence, Kfog benches the leader. I mean the whole sequence, yeah, but what I mean is that the decision to use the reroll doesn't involve the whole sequence, does it? The decision to put the reroll in is um a rush is just a GFI and BB3 pounds, yes. It got changed, Salakis, uh, you know, four years ago now, it got changed <laughs> from GFI to rush. So, you, you, you know, I've said GFI for 30 years. No, 34 years, actually, I've said GFI. It was a GFI in Blood Bowl 2nd Edition. The 1988 2nd Edition, it was going for it. So I've said GFI for 34 years, so it's not easy to switch to rushes, but yes, rushes have just, they've just been named. <laughs> it actually makes more sense. Rush does make more sense. I, I understand it making more sense, right? So, or sprinting. You could have called it sprinting, because in second edition, you had a movement stat and then a sprinting stat. And so for Skaven, it was movement five and sprinting at plus two. And then so they could move five and punch somebody or they could sprint and go seven squares and not punch somebody. And then on top of the sprinting, they could really go for it. And that was when going for it came about. But then in the 1994 one, they consolidated the movement stat and the sprint stat and then going for it didn't really make any sense then because you know it's it's good that there's there were three levels of speed i thought and it doesn't really make going for it doesn't really make much sense when there's only two levels of speed so they change it to a rush and uh, it sounds a bit stupid but it kind of makes sense Like GFI, the the main thing is just syllables, isn't it? It's so much easier to say this guy's gonna rush than this guy's gonna go for it. 
or GFI. Like it, it is better. It, if it had been rushes from the start, and then people try to change it and go for it, people would be like, what the hell, this is really stupid, wouldn't they? <laughs> so... But yeah, I've, I mean, I've said GFI all my life. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? My basically my entire life that I can remember, I've said GFI. <laughs> I've basically played Blood Bowl my entire life. I can't say why this is funny, but there's something funny happening. Um, I think there's a match happening here as well. And a stunned roger. And his roger stunned him, so successful turn in the banging walls. Big Kev, but very successful for Olivier. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Ben Ball back into the raid. Thank you very much. Whoa. Welcome to a clash of the titans. If ever there was one, Olivier Dulac, world number one, rated on tabletop, NAF, versus. You know, number one in our hearts. <laughs> Core, the legend, Kefo. But both, funnily enough, on Olivier Delac's favourite Skaven, so very interesting. Super interesting. Cheeky removal. Interesting, we've got an incorrect. Um, Thing, right? What's this called? <laughs> Vengabus, right? There was a way in the back. I mean, you don't really need a Vengabus anyway versus uh, Skating Do. He's got sure hands and be uphill anyway because he's strength three. So I guess he's just protecting the Garda more than anything else. Oh, here we go. Foul. Try to stop the one turner. But doesn't even break his AV. The pause was probably trying to work out how the hell he didn't have his armour broken. <laughs> if this uh, sidestepper was alive and here, <laughs> you could put the sidestepper there, couldn't you? And then roger him and then surf him, but that's not happening. The question is, does he even activate the roger at all? Because it's going to bite the Garda. <laughs> Doesn't break his AV though. And it's a one day into a skull. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh man, I love how terrible the roger is. I absolutely love it. Um, I wonder if there's some weird chain pushes here with the roger. Well, we're not going to find out. Brainless blitz. <laughs> Instantly by K-Fog. Maybe there was something clever he could have done with chain pushing, but it's over now. I don't think there was. But there might have been. Uh, yeah, there might have been, actually. Maybe not. 
reliable big guy. It's reliably the worst big guy in the entire game. That's what it is. Got to follow here, isn't he, from the 3D? Doesn't follow. Doesn't make it 3D. Gets the power anywhere. Luckiest man in the world. Careful. Yeah, I didn't hit the rogue bits in the cage as well. He's, he's quite he's quite uh, separated, isn't he, with these three all down. If there's a roger on the edge here, that's pretty good. And then you'd have to base him as well to, to prevent the handoff. That means lots of players down. Roger fails to stand up. Not sacrificing his uh, guard to make him stand up, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Nobs OP. I mean, they had pretty good chances, right? To me, the you know the highest win rate team had a good chance to be uh, one of the lowest played teams. Smaller sample size, very conducive to getting highest win rate. So not surprised that they were highest win rate at all. This is weird, isn't it? Now relying on this uh, two plus with reroll, um, very risky from Olivier, but he gets it. You know, he got payoff, of course, of having this guy in front, but maybe he could have just not moved him until he made this dodge first, right? Maybe that was the play. No, Demi, no. <laughs> no. The best teams were Wood Elves, realistically. Interestingly, I wonder if it was like the makeup of teams and stuff. I mean, knobs were the highest win rate, but it was also a vanishingly small sample size. So you cannot conclude that they were the best team. The best team was probably Wood Elves. Funny that rats are most popular, but again, I think that was because rats were getting the two-point package, right? The rats were such an obvious target of the two-point package. Benefited a lot from it, even though Sol didn't take it. Um, they benefited so much from the two-point package. Really good. Really nice. Also, we're chaining this onto the cage. And then we could get a rogue blitz on the ball here, couldn't we? This could be very nice. If we get this pow. <laughs> Scoring threat engaged. Doesn't get the pow yet. That, that makes things a lot worse because now this is like an uphill, right? Or you just don't do it and you just blitz in. Or you dodge. Oh my god, he dodges to make a one. Wow. That's how much he valued getting this. Pow. <laughs> no, it just needs to be a push, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. A, uh, a two or into a one -er. He only gets the push. Tries to re-roll it, gets the pow. But no recovery because he moved this dodger. And then had he not moved it, he could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And uh, that might have been good, mightn't it?
In fact, you could just run all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then maybe he's dodged away on, maybe he's not. <laughs> Fuck you then, Necro. <laughs> No, oh, he was prone. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That explains this six a lot more, doesn't it? <laughs> that sure explains this six a lot more. I wonder if he's the one that you should have assisted. One, two, three, four, five, six. And double GFI. But he would just have needed one. You could have assisted, then this guy would have been there, and he could have gone one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to end the turn. Flip me, dude. What a, what a monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI handoff? Is, is he going to do that and just potato? Or is he just going to try and get back to a cage? Maybe put him there and then hand off to him. Put one there. And then run around and hand off to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, he's used his last reroll. Oh, it's turn eight. I literally have no idea what turn it was. I don't think k -Fog did either because he put that guy in scoring range. <laughs> k -Fog put a scoring threat in that bamboozled me. It's not my fault, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Can't even put in the scoring threat. <laughs> oh dear. Not my fault. No, oh my god, Blitz. Oh my goodness. Yeah, jump over the roger. Failed. The greatest of all time. <laughs> Tricking me. <laughs> blitzing, uh, blitzing this guy is pretty... This is uh, very susceptible to a blitz, isn't it, from Olivier? Like, he's got all these, sure. But then he's just got that. He hasn't got another player out here. So, very susceptible. Either the rogue blitzes this guy or he blitzes him, yeah. Interesting. I wonder why he didn't... I uh, wonder why he didn't protect properly. That's weird, isn't it? Very weird. The one thing versus rats is to protect against the blitz, right? Really weird. Like, he could have put the, the gutter there, and this lineman could have been there. Oh, it's because he knew Kefog could roll a one. <laughs> and, uh, and fuck it up. But it isn't a tackle zone. Man, I had no idea what turn it was there in the first half. I mean, to be fair, out of out of me watching it and K Fog playing it and Olivia K and Olivia playing, it, I think Olivia is the only one who knew what turn it was. <laughs> That's why he's world number one, guys. <laughs> um, it is not possible to use reroll on a blitz event, no, because it's not a team turn. So um, basically, oh, and that guy gets surfed now. Basically, the way they worded it was, they worded some skills that they can only be used once per team turn. And the problem he's got is protecting his guys from the counter-surf here, though. 
Um, they worded some things as once per turn, per team turn, and then they decided that Blitz was no longer a bonus team turn. It was just like a kickoff event. So all of the things that work once per team turn, like dodge, don't work on a Blitz kickoff event. And rather than just rectifying this with the FAQ, like everything in the FAQs, they just doubled down on everything. So just said, no, that's the way we always intended it, which is obviously stupid and leads to lots of dumb things. Um, it is sick, yeah. yeah. And obviously one of them is team rerolls, which you can only use once per team turn. Wow, Apple's that, of course, because it's, it's the sidestep. And he's definitely just going to blitz him, isn't he? Like, this is the, the number one thing ever to happen. What? What? This is this is K Fog's player, isn't it? Right? I'm not hallucinating. This is this is K Fog's player. He could have served a gutter runner, but instead blitzed with a roger into double skulls. This was this is K Fog. Why did he could have served a blitz? What? What? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand why he wouldn't just surf that guy. He roars. He hasn't got anyone next to him. Brilliant. Maybe K Fog thought that was Olivier's player. Honestly, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. K Fog isn't well. He's ill. To be fair, K Fog is ill and he's just playing these two games to get them over with, he said. So, um, there you go. Oh, yeah, well, Van, but yeah, Hypnotic Gaze being a 2 plus is pretty ludicrous, yeah. They could have just had like a minus one um, for each tackle zone, including the first, right? For Gaze. So. They didn't have to make it a 2+, plus, but they did, and it's pretty strong. Kifog's basically just passing turns now, isn't he, till the end of the game? Um, Sidestep is away, and then he'll just one turn and win, right? That's... That's K Fog's plan now. I'm pretty sure. But he's only 50 50 to have a Roger. And he's got two good as he might not get. I don't think he's going to stop the defense now. I right, stop the offense for five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight and a half players. You might forget about this one now that it's there. Maybe he will get, like, you know... Skaven do get into trouble on their offence, don't they, when they're, like, trying to stall it out completely. That's the thing. Like, you know, Skaven scoring a touchdown is easy. But Skaven scoring a touchdown on, um... on turn eight, that sometimes they struggle with. And this doesn't look amazing. Yeah, looks a bit better now. Gets the four plus move, outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Where's the ball going? Another removal. Putting the stripper in there was brave because he could have just made this blockless block first. Oh, he's going for the score. So I guess he's thinking K Fog will just one turn against me. Oh, a blockless block! Does he not re roll? Because he's got the ball on the side stepper. He doesn't re roll. But obviously, this side stepper is now going to get one dice blitzed with Wrestle. <laughs> 
very interesting. Um, no, unfortunately, Sol, no, we'll, we'll do your match last. You started after, like, you started, um, after K-Fog versus Art was on, and then K-Fog was set up for a double-headed, double-headed, double-header. Gets the full pow. You can sidestep away from that sideline, though, can't you? Which is oily nice for Olivier. Oh, well, now we can just pick it up and run, carry on running forward. <laughs> or maybe not, right? Maybe, maybe this guy long bombs it and he scores. No. You can get it there with like a screen, it's not good. Double double GFI and get it down to here with the screen. Still not far enough probably. Probably has to block, right? Get him out of there. It's not great, but he's got half a chance. It's <laughs> like no players. <laughs> <laughs> got all of these banged out like this half this half it's happened so he had like he had like a, he had like basically a full 11 i think maybe he started with 10 and he just had like five players removed in like three turns oh yeah maybe he should have made an iron cage problem is he gets uh Get stripped anyway. Well, stuns his own player, but gets to move. Which puts a tail on the ball, but a tail isn't that good. He's got to pick it up because ball on the ground versus rats is fatal. Getting some good equity out of this anyway now, isn't he, K Fog? Still got three reels for the one turn, and uh, you know that the, what that's looking. More and more likely to at least get ch that chance. Is the sidestep we're going to try? He's, he's got to pick it up. The blodger. The blodger's going to come in and pick it up at the end. He literally has to. Three rerolls and three players here. K Fog is blue. All of the dead, all of the KO'd rats, not dead, all of the KO'd rats. Millions of KO'd rats. But he is winning 1 0. Is also oh, is. Mm. <laughs> is there something he can do? I feel like. There have to be something better than this. Used a reroll. I don't know why. Did he think that guy had the ball? Did he? <laughs> did he think that guy had the ball? <laughs> now I'm thinking. K Fog thought that guy had the ball. Is what I'm thinking. Because that's the only way that makes sense. <laughs> that reroll only makes sense if that guy's got the ball, right? And yeah, the, the surf, yeah, he had the surf, but it didn't even seem that good, to be honest. KO'd. <laughs> 
Is he going to go for an early score? Probably better off to, right? With, with, with all these KOs, yeah, better off just scoring now, yeah. He did try to score a turn or two before, but uh, one in nine and didn't want to use a reroll. KFOG might just try the one turn, right? KFOG might just do the one turn just to get ahead again. But no, it's surely not. He'll try and score in four. I mean, two one. Cable has to win. They were actually they were actually perfectly cromulent KOs, weren't they? They looked terrible, but he actually succeeded half. <laughs> and they just looked they they looked bad there, <laughs> and here they look bad. But he uh, he did actually pass half of them. <laughs> yeah, you have no team left. <laughs> he really just literally had no team left. So the stripper is still active for Olivier. Which does make keeping hold of the ball not easy. He could just go for the one turn. Because if he goes for the one turn, then Olivier scores in three, then he'll get the one turn again, won't he? So I think he will just go for the one turn. That's what I think. I was wrong, though, because he hasn't gone for it. Solid D. I don't, honestly, I don't hate just going for the one turn, or I guess a quick score. I don't know how good the one turn is. Like, I didn't really look at the defensive setup. But I think probably Olivier did try to protect against the one turn a little bit. He could have put the sidestepper here, couldn't he? He could have put the sidestepper here, and then he could have come in and blitzed him. And then if he got pushes into pushes, he could have gone for the sides. He could have gone for the sidestepper. But if he powered him, well, then he powers him and blocks up here and pushes through. So that would have been. I think if I was Big Kev. I'll put the sidestepper there, and then maybe, may, you know, kept my options open if I push pow, if I, if I push push, even in fact if you push pow no, then you push out, you can't do that one, okay. mm. Anyway, you could have seen what happened. <laughs> if you push push, you could have gone for the one turn, and if you push pow, I forget it. It's probably, probably, I think. An idea. Not necessarily the best idea. Because obviously if you can score four if you can store four turns he just wins, doesn't he? Uh, he's probably gonna have to help the rogue to move, isn't he? He's probably gonna have to help the rogue to move here. He's got nobody left, so the rogue is only getting served half of the time. And he's got that going for him. <laughs> Does not try to move him before the pickup. Horrendous turn ordering from KFOG. <laughs> he can't not activate him and just let him get served. He can't. I mean, maybe he can. Nope, he's moving him. Well, he should have definitely done that before the pickup, shouldn't he? Like, if you're going to move it, you've got to move it straight away. Bugger me surprised. This has been a wild, wild game. <laughs> Rat-tastic game. Bloody bowels, yeah, yeah, we've got more rats to come after this as well with 
Sol versus Hiru. Basically four rat games out of three. <laughs> I like that, nailing the sidestepper. Because the one turn is still a threat, right? If you're Olivier, you're trying to win this game. And then... If you go 2-1 up, then Kfog will have the one turn to make it 2-2. Two -two. Defenseless gut runner. It's just good to hit, isn't it? Here we go, first action Roger. Didn't even kill him, guys. Yeah, actually, the uh, the throw is not bad, is he? Versus the gutters. Like uphill wrestle isn't fantastic, but it's better than just getting stripped. That is it, Rat and Elves. <laughs> Rats and Woodies. Interesting, that, oh, and I guess Vamps maybe, right? People take strip blitzes sometimes, don't they? But then, versus Vampires, <laughs> they don't, you know, you don't have show hands because they'll just gaze you first. <laughs> completely, completely fair and balanced. Goes out. Mm. <laughs> yes, it, it. I feel it's a lot easier to spot things. Well. If you if you're paying attention and watching, because obviously some of the times when you're playing, you're really paying attention to like what turn it is and stuff. Whereas if you're watching, sometimes you don't even know it's turn eight. <laughs> but uh, if you're paying attention, I think it's easier to. It's like because you're detached, aren't you? You tend to tunnel vision. I think everybody tends to tunnel vision when they're playing, and you tend to not do that when you're watching. Oh, certainly less. I mean, I sometimes turn vision watching still. But, um, less. A blockless block. Outrageous. I mean, you know. It is outrageous, right? That that rat ogre should have definitely moved first. <laughs> it is funny how the best players constantly just make moves out of sequence, right? Olivier definitely needs a scoring threat. Because it's turn 15, look how clever I am. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get a score. Well, he does technically have a scoring throw with the sidestepper. <laughs> yes, Bickies, yeah, the best players are just the luckiest. They're not actually better at Blood Bowl, they're just lucky. I like it, the guns are going super fast, I guess, because like, the they're in the time bank. 
for trying to waste less 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 of your turn time on animations. But like, well, look how fast they're running. They're definitely going faster than normal. Anyway, he gets the knockdown, catches the scatter, and flip me. What a turn. I mean, they aren't extremely lucky at all, the gears. <laughs> And the AV break. This, I mean, this was very lucky. But they're playing each other, so they can't both be lucky. Just goes for the one D, but into the, into the. Oh my God, one D! But I mean, that was outrageously lucky. Maybe you're right. Maybe they are just lucky. Full pow, instant and full. Oh my God, this gutter just picks it up and hands it off to the other gutter. And that's it. <laughs> Gets a full power to make it even easier. That's outrageous. Just quietly needed the full power. Got it. Even dodges to get the base there. Dodges and GFIs. Did he GFI? No. Oh, he's failed the handle. Lucky, lucky Olivier. <laughs> Making K Frog fail the handoff. But K Frog still has two scoring threats if Olivier doesn't score. But Olivier does have the uh, gutter runner here. So now it's similarly ridiculously easy dice for Olivier to score. The interesting thing here is the sidestepper, isn't it? He does get the pow. Alright, well, yeah, the knockdown perfect is better than the pow, isn't it? So the no scatter, now he gets to push him free. And then what's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI. And up. So pretty easy. So it's just a two, 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 three twos. No, no re like no skill re rolls. Uh, well, there's also the dodge, but let's not count that. Pick up GFI catch. Uh, oh, did he did he have a chance to catch it as well? No, I just double one the hand off. I mean, he needed a three plus, didn't he? Because he was in a tackle spot. Uh, Sidestepper did get injured at some point in the second half. There's only one thing to do, isn't there? Which is dodge. And uh, oh, I guess he's thinking, is the throw better? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it, no, it's not. Oh, um, bubble box. Bubble box helps a tiny amount. 0.1% or something. And these two removals mean that KFOG can't score as well, so that was perfect, wasn't it? Oh, reroll gone. He needs a 2-2. Two, two. two without rerolls. It fails the GFI. Oh my god, the bubble box! <laughs> Wouldn't max as a turnover, but it's funny that it would have happened if he'd failed the catch. <laughs> um, there you go, and there's nobody left for K Fog to get the ball to. Crazy game. Absolutely crazy game. There is not overtime, no, it is, it is just a league. A super, a super league. <laughs> a super league, but still just a league. Um, so yeah, 1-1 one, one draw. Between two titans of tabletop blood ball.
There you go. <laughs> yeah, um, Sol is sixth sixth highest rated, isn't he in the NAF rankings now? Which, you know, is pretty good. So there you go, a 1-1 one, one draw. What a crazy, what a crazy game. Yeah, Olivier didn't get anybody removed. And Cole's team was smashed to oblivion. <laughs> um, but it ended a draw. And now the table after week four looks like this. Olivier is top with two wins, two draws, undefeated. Seabro, Strider and Bright all vying there at five points. K-Fog is now unfortunately eliminated after four games and so is Artemis of course so there you go um, unbelievable really unbelievable would not have foreseen K-Fog and Artemis fifth and sixth but there you go a disaster for Artemis pretty bad for K-Fog yeah, I think it, it was ridiculous K-Fog yeah it was ridiculous um, and then Group A, after four games. I also wouldn't have thought I would be bottom of my group, so there you go. So I'm bottom of my group, I am out. Hiru's already out on two points there. Um, Andy and Dimi are tied on six. There is an outside chance for Tree and Sol, because Tree could beat Andy and then put them both on six. And Sol could beat Hiru to put himself on six. And then I could also be Dimmy to keep Dimmy on six. So there could potentially be a four-way tie. Um, so we'll see what happens there. So there you go. Right. Um, that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.